All right, New York Comic Con 2022, I am with the legend, James McAvoy. Oh, indeed, the legend. As we talk about the third season of His Dark Materials, our man's been an emotional ride, and we're finally getting the conclusion here. Uh, What's sort of been your feelings going into this last season? You know what? Just really anxious to uh, make good on all the promise that has come for Asriel in seasons one and two. Season one, he's barely in it, but he has a big impact and he makes a big old stink about we're going to go to war with the heavens we're going to go to war with the authority and he walks off into another world to go make that war get his backpack on his gun he's got his big old snow leopard and he's like i'm coming for you and then season two disappears we don't see him we just hear about him but there's this war happening so season three you've got to bring the war you've got to bring the thunder and um and i was just anxious that we would actually get to fulfill that promise and we do we really do that's awesome. Um, you know, there's a huge fan base for this, whether you are a fan of the series or a fan of the books. Everyone's looking for that conclusion and seeing what's going to happen with your character. Yeah, fingers crossed it's going to be satisfying for people. It's for me. Because yeah. he's got this massive messianic complex. It's all war and I'm right and whatever has to be done, I'll blow up whole worlds to get this job done and free the people. Yeah. And then ultimately, he's kind of got a deal and his ego has to deal with the fact that it's all about his daughter and it's all about his little girl. And it was never about him. And that's... It's kind of, I like that journey because I think that's what we all go on as parents as well. Yeah. You kind of go, it's not about me anymore, it's about my kids. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, huge fan of yours. And one thing that I think you do better than, I don't think there's anybody better than you in Hollywood. And that's being able to shake off characters. What I mean by that is that every time you go into a new role, you really embody that role. And you don't see remnants of any of your other characters. Going into Lord Azrael in this season, knowing it's your last season, knowing how much this, this character means to the fans. What's been no, sort of your preparation to really give us that, that last little home run to take us home? Do you know what? Just combing through the books. Combing through the books because he's not... In the books, he's not in it as much as he is in the TV show. So combing through the books for every single reference to the character, what he might be doing, what he isn't doing, what he's like, making sure that this, like, absolute storm of a person... The same way that Coulter is, she's such a... She's so full of herself and I don't mean like she's full of herself like she is such a present person and so is Asriel just combing the books for every little piece of information that we can help shove into what we do as actors and as writers and producers and as filmmakers and TV makers yeah so for my last question for you what can fans prepare for December 3rd Ooh, emotion spectacle uh, combat um, both ideologically and physically and cool demons. We've all got animals, man. Like, <laughs> even if you don't like the show, we've got cool animals, man. <laughs> right. Or, well, James, it's been a pleasure to talk to you, man. And you have a good rest of your car. Absolutely. <laughs>